Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and in this video I want to talk to you about what the best AMD driver is for cryptocurrency mining. And it's been a hot minute since I did a video on this, but it's time for a refresh or an update. First off, the last time we've seen any updates uh, as far as what the best AMD driver is, it's been a hot minute. Uh, I mean, most forms or articles are referring back to what's called the blockchain compute driver which is still feasible for older generation GPUs maybe the 470, 480, 570, 580 so on and so forth there's so many different revisions of the same GPU which is better clocks or slightly improved performance but anyways that was back in 2017, 2018 whatever it was and it's time for an update in 2020 but first before I tell you what the final answer is or the final driver that I would recommend with mining uh, on the Navi type GPUs I want to talk about the issues and I'm not going to go in full detail but I personally haven't experienced too many issues with the AMD drivers but people have mentioned black screens, green screens, pink screens freezing or lockups in game I did have minor issues where I was playing Battlefield 5 and the computer will just lock up and then the game will just close so I will lose all my points and rewards and that can be quite frustrating but from a mining perspective uh, as long as you don't overclock the memory too high and you're not overclocking the core with uh, the, you know not enough voltage so to speak then your GPU will perform just fine if you are interested in other details or information on this I'm gonna have some links to uh, a couple of hardware unbox videos kind of covering this topic in the description below. Moving forward, the most recent revision of AMD's driver is the Adrenaline 2020 Edition 20.4.2. That came out on April 23rd. Today, at time of recording, it is April 28th, 2020. And this video may not be relevant uh, for such a long time because AMD may have another driver revision coming out. Though they do not have the capabilities of NVIDIA and the resources they do try to improve their AMD drivers and that's one of the biggest pitfall with these cards is the driver and software development but they are still good cards if you want the older versions of these the driver and you don't want to get the 20.4.2 when you go to the AMD drivers page towards the bottom look for an option that says previous drivers and there you'll be able to select depending on your OS whichever revision you want uh, there there will also be a link to the release notes to the most recent uh, driver in the description below if you want to read additional details but let's just go straight into my research and just give you some bits real quick so first off on a Windows system this is this isn't based off of Linux results but just Windows AMD and Windows the most the, the Windows update will install 19.3.02 which is an old version of the AMD driver and as you can see the memory clock take note of that it's at 930 where if you get the adrenaline 2020 edition you're gonna see uh, stock 1750 and then you could bump it up to 1800 1820 18 whatever you want and you can see the performance wise I'm getting 55.8 now this isn't stock performance I want you to know that this is not stock performance this is actually performance due to a mod which I will have linked in the description using the red BIOS uh, editor where you can force flash the GPU BIOS. This is why you see in MSI Afterburn on the screen it says 5700 XT but this is not a 5700 XT card. I just flashed an XT BIOS onto it. But I also adjusted the timing. So this isn't stock performance but it's a ratio that we're going to go off of. For example on this old 19.30 driver I'm getting 55.8 mega hash, but it's a consistent 55.8. It might fluctuate little by little, but 55.8 is where it's at. And even though I did test every single driver, I'm just going to show you some key points. On 20.4.1, if you're paying attention, I did skip one right before that. I was getting a mixture or a fluctuation of anywhere between 54.2 to 56.2. So that's about a 2.2 or 2 mega hash difference or fluctuation. I did test this on other algorithms and there was quite a difference 
uh, even though it was very minor or a minute difference in hash rate, it was still a difference. And now the whole purpose of mining is to get the best efficiency at the best hash rate. When I upgraded to 20.4.2, it threw out my settings for the memory timings, the adjustment, the more power play table, the whole nine yards. So I had to reflash my GPU. Every time I update the driver, I have to reflash my GPU. And that may turn a few of you away from doing the Red BIOS Editor mod or the memory timing mod. But I think it's something worth it, especially if you're trying to get the maximum hash rate. Because maybe your GPU can do 58 mega hash, but my GPU can't. So 20.4.2 killed my hash rate by at least 4 mega hash. But I had to reapply settings, and even after I reapplied settings, it still was impacting me negatively. I was getting 55.8 mega hash to 57 or 54, so it fluctuated once again. And on top of that, I was getting incorrect shares. So I was getting rejected shares as well when I updated to the latest revision of AMD's Adrenaline 2020 edition drivers. The best driver that I could recommend for you guys is, as of right now, time of filming, 20.3.1. Here's my clocks. I know I could get the voltage low lower. I have done that. But just for 24-7 stable and, and getting the power somewhere where I want it and getting the hash rate that I want, I can get 56 to 57 mega hash, somewhere up, up in the top 57 mega hash when the computer or the monitors are off. When the monitors are on and I'm multitasking or doing whatever, then it's going to sit anywhere between 56.7 to low 56 mega hash. But the 20.3.1 driver is the most stable that I've tested out of all the uh, different revisions that AMD released and gets me the best hash rate. Mind you, again, every time you update the drivers, you're going to have to reapply it. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, in the description there will be a video for the Red BIOS editor, how to manipulate or edit the timings, and then how to apply or force flash your GPU. And I got two videos on that. So check that out in the description. But that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know if you have a, a driver that you feel is the best uh, and share it with the community so that way we can test it out and get the best hash rate or the best bang for our buck, so to speak. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.